Cucaracha here. I'm referring to dogs in this story, but cats get this also. If you've ever been close with a dog, the chances are that you wondered what your canine companion might be thinking. As time goes on and your relationship grows, whether as a primary owner, a family member, or an occasional visitor, you probably ask yourself if your dog remembers you. Like our human friends and family, we would like to think, even if we're not in the room, dogs still think about us. Scientists agree that dogs are intelligent, emotional, and capable of forming lasting relationships with humans. The bad news is that, just like humans, dogs can develop degenerative nerve diseases which damage their minds. Dogs, sadly, can develop a similar condition to Alzheimer's disease, and tragically, that might mean that your dog could suffer some of the same sad Alzheimer-like conditions, such as forgetting its close family in its final days. Canine cognitive dysfunction, or CCD, mirrors two key components of Alzheimer's disease in humans. Dogs also suffer like humans in that neurons die. The synapses or connections between neurons are lost, and these are observed in humans who, as they age from cognitive decline. From a psychological perspective, dogs may show signs of disruptive sleep patterns, pacing at night, more vocalizing, being unable to remember how to signal to go out, and may have trouble recognizing family members. This can lead to more anxiety. From a physical perspective, there may be episodes of incontinence, but oftentimes other physical problems are ruled out with the CCC diagnosis. Indeed, the similarities between CCC and human dimension are so striking that researchers believe man's best friend could actually help find a cure for this debilitating ailment. There is a nationwide study known as the Dog Aging Project, which was launched, launched by Cornell University, the University of Washington, and the University of Arizona, and funded by the National Institute on Aging, which exists precisely because scientists are intrigued by those similarities. And as I mentioned before, this happens to cats as well. Until a cure for CCD exists, the sad reality is that dogs and humans alike who experience cognitive decline will be left to manage their symptoms to the best of their abilities. People who are concerned about their dogs should consult a veterinarian. We know that bigger dogs have a lower risk of developing CCD than small dogs. If your dog is healthy now, then the best thing to do is to make sure they stay healthy. That can prevent CCD from developing. It is the exact same as the approach for Homo sapiens. The best approach is always prevention, ensure they have good physical health, keep up with dental appointments, exercise, lots of social and cognitive enrichment, a good diet, and manage co-occurring conditions. I wanted to talk about this story because my sister Maddie, who was a dog, was 16 when she died, and that was almost two years ago. It'll be two years in July. She had this. She acted like she didn't know my mom and even bit her more than once toward the end of her life. It was heartbreaking, a heartbreaking end to a long, happy life that Maddie had. I wanted to make people aware of this in case you don't know, but your dogs and cats can get dementia and it is really, really sad. Cooper March here. Ciao.